Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in London and I want to give you an update on how is the situation here after lockdown. Come with me and let's stay safe. It's actually pretty empty. Wait for it. And we are in Piccadilly Circus with my friend Chiara. Hi Dad. everyone. Stay tuned because we will also make a collab soon. Yay! There's more of the market! Let's go! This kind of fried bowls with octopus. Oh my god, so delicious. Hey, let's eat. It's Vasi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy and excited to see you here with me today and I will be taking you to my first vlog in London. I want to show you if restaurants are closed, if there are any social distancing restrictions, what are any other restrictions about wearing masks, how is the public transport here, what about the attractions and all those small little things that you might be curious about, I will be showing you today. Let me give you a little bit of a plan for today so first now I'll be going out with Kiara which is my first friend from YouTube how exciting is that <laughs> and after that Ben will come we'll go to the supermarket we'll be walking around and we will also go to a nice food market after that which I'm super super excited about so guys we don't have time to waste so and I'm actually now walking to the meetup with my friend because I kind of avoid to use public transport wherever possible. And let me show you how we're actually the street here. Guys, how posh is this area? Just look at it. Did you join my giveaway? Because if you haven't, you have to do it now. You just have to subscribe to my channel and after that click on this link it will be also in the description attractions and most of the people that you see here they are actually londoners and not tourists because almost no one was taking photos we are in front of westminster abbey and as you can see there isn't pretty much anyone and usually here it's literally full of tourists so actually it might be a good time for you to come and visit london because you can take all the photos that you want usually the queue finishes here and it goes all the way inside to there if you guys want to come to the london eye you can still do it but you have to book the tickets in advance and once you're here they will also check your temperature parks and social distancing in public areas i'm now in green park and something that i'm noticing overall is how quiet it is. I swear like London has never been as quiet before. We are in St. James Park now and I kind of like how people really respect social distancing and as you can see like there's always a lot of space in between people and it's such a lovely day. These signs are pretty much everywhere that are showing you how much are two meters that people should keep. Of course, not everyone is keeping it. Bars, restaurants, pubs, what's open, what's closed, and the new way of eating out. So I would say that the more kind of everyday places where more people go have already opened. However, the ones which are more expensive are still closed, both like restaurants, bars, and more like luxury expensive shops. Something that I find interesting is that also some of the prets around have closed. Kind of missing all the drunk people around there were usually so many that they were coming all the way to here how fancy is this place but look at them they're also wearing masks but still being super classy something that i'm finding super cute and also kind of like french is how all the tables are, of restaurants are now outside so there is more room for social distancing the new way of shopping most of the places have these signs which kind of show you where do the two meters send and now luckily there isn't anyone so let's go okay. we're also up inside guys now i want to see who are my true fans do you remember this basket 
and tell me where have you seen it? And this might look like some fancy gallery, but I'm actually still at the store. Today is actually Monday, which is the next day, but I thought I can show you how is Selfridges because I guess some of you might be interested in shopping if you're coming to London. We went in from the only entrance available at the moment and of course we got our hand sanitized because, you know. China, we've got it under control. Corona a week later, Mr. Worldwide. And Selfridges has now started this Project Earth, which is a five-year initiative and they're trying to change the way we shop and this is actually their logo and because of that they have a big focus around the store in rental, reselling, recycling and just looking after the planet. And on every floor there is a different part of the project and for example on this one there is the focus on new and eco materials. And apart from those stickers on the floor there are also dots on the escalators which show you what should be the distance between you and the person in front. And now it's time to go back to the vlog with some unexpected events as usual in my life. And here we are! It's actually pretty empty. Wait for it. Didn't really plan to go to the protest today so I'm just continuing but I think it was good for you also to see it and as usual my vlogs have an unexpected ending. And now off to one of my favorite places ever since lockdown, the supermarket. Something interesting that I'm noticing now is that all of the places have only one entry and one exit and that's it before you could like enter and exit from both sides yep whole foods is still as expensive as before and after that i met with my friend kiara at joe and the juice and it was super and so i kind of felt awkward filming and we are in piccadilly circus with my friend kiara hi um, everyone she also has a youtube channel which is how is it called kiara travel languages and she's making like super cute videos about traveling and languages and if you speak Italian, go check it out or Spanish or Spanish I'm gonna make video in English too, so if you speak English, just check it out Stay tuned because we will also make a collab soon And now I'm going to see Ben and by the way guys, there are so many people cycling I'm super happy and I feel like there are also some positive changes that came after the pandemic. Here he is. Enemy spotted. Oh, I feel like I know you. Hi. After that, we went to the Japan Center and you guys, if you haven't been there, definitely check it out because they have a supermarket, but also like hot buffet. They make food there, but you also can buy things for the house. And we actually got a variety of sushi and uh, also this kind of fried bowls with octopus. Oh my God, so delicious. Hey, let's eat. And because I guess lunch wasn't enough, we went to the food market after. One of my favorite things about London are markets. Let's explore this one. And it was slightly more crowded than in other places. But again, if you feel safe, definitely worth it. Yay, there's more of the market. Let's go. So the main reason on why do I get so excited about the food market is that in such a small space you have so many different varieties of food from all around the world. Isn't this just incredible? And this is the Arab one. There was also Italian, Indian, burgers, donuts and all the good stuff. Guys, did you also know that there's Uber boat? That's the first time that I see it. Public transport. Now, I didn't actually use the public transport in this vlog just because I can walk all around these places and also it's not as recommended, but if you do, you should wear a covering and if not, I believe you get fined. So pretty much everyone is doing it. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like that. Love you loads. Bye.